Hey, what's up, guys? Mike from the Oak Cliff Kid Boxing Academy. Going to be breaking down the action from Bellator 99, giving you live results, breakdown, and analysis. First fight on the prelims, Hector Ramirez, UFC veteran. He gets the takedown quick, and he just rides out the rest of the round on top. Mild ground and pound. He gets fired up in the second, though, because Savo pokes him in the eye and knees him in the groin. So Ramirez really goes after him, almost gets a stoppage, and just more to the third. Savo, Kostic, unable to stop the takedowns, unable to get up. The second fight was great. Andy Murat kept hitting takedowns, taking Starrett down. In the second, it was a little bit more of the same, but Garrett started opening up with his striking. He landed a standing elbow that cut up Murat's eye. So, in the third, it was also very even with Gavin Sterrett pouring it on. So, I definitely see that round going to him. Just depends on how you see the second round. It goes to a split decision. Goichi Yamauchi, very highly touted prospect, shows just why. From the Oma Palata, he gets the rear naked choke. Tolliver's forced to tap very early in the first round. Very impressive. Blagoy Ivanov versus Manny Lara. Not much really happens. Uh, they're against the cage, and Lara goes down and try to get the legs, but Ivanov locks up a guillotine, and he uses the leverage pressing up against the cage uh, to get enough force for a quick tap. First fight on the main card, Joe Taimangalo versus Andrew Fisher. Fisher stood in front of him, and he danced around. Threw the jab occasionally, but really just got beat up. Uh, Jimmy Smith hit him right on the head when he said it kind of resembled a sparring match. No sense of urgency, but Joe Taimanglo did his best to make it a fight, and he gets the decision. Justin Wilcox versus Acosta Panyan. Wilcox forced to stand with them because Stepanian with good takedown defense. He keeps chopping them down with the leg kick. And Wilcox, though, engaging. Both of them are throwing, throwing lots of stuff. Uh, Wilcox looked really good, 145. Not as muscular as he's been at 155, but he's not the shorter guy. Uh, they were about even, but Sapanian getting the better of the stand-up, of course. In the second round, he throws a spinny heel kick that lands in the back of the head, and it cuts Justin really bad blood pouring out, but this time he finally gets the takedown, uh, eventually scrambles, takes the back, rear naked choke, puts a cop's opinion to sleep, a great fight with the fantastic come from behind. Houston Alexander versus Vladimir Matyushenko, surprisingly Alexander gets the first takedown, but everything after that was all Matyushenko. Um, he gets the win by decision. But really, neither of these guys look very good. But hopefully they bounce back. In the co-main event, Fabrizio Guerrero versus Des Green. Uh, Green looks a little bit of a stage fright. He looks very nervous. And Guerrero, he's more relaxed, picking his shots and defending the takedowns. I think Green got one at the end. A uh, very close fight. Nobody landing too many uh, significant shots, very close. Guerrero, the aggressor, so I scored it for him, and the judges agree he gets the decision. The main event, over just as soon as it started, they pawn a few leg kicks, but then there's Diego Nunes that tries to go in, but his hands are down. He gets tagged, and he just drops, and it's over. Patricio Pipple.